maybe it may be helpful to talk now a little bit about some of the cases that are sort of ongoing or have come up in more recent times um, that have tried to grapple with um, some of these issues. Do you want to talk about one or two of those? Sure. So there is an interesting case in the Southern District of New York. So this guy, Justin Goldman, was walking around the Hamptons and he saw Tom Brady with a bunch of Celtics players. So he snapped a photo, put it on his snaps, Snapchat story, and went about his day. And what happened is it basically went viral. So people started, you know, it went onto Reddit, and then a couple Twitter users uploaded it to Twitter, tweeted that out, and then some media outlets, um, Fox, Time, um, a bunch of others, embedded that tweet in articles about the Celtics trying to get Kevin Durant. So, so that was back in 2016. So he, and obviously Goldman didn't give permission for these news and media outlets to use the photo. So he filed a lawsuit in the Southern District of New York. Um, and that was in 2017. And what was interesting, so there was kind of no dispute about the facts of the case. Everyone agreed as to what happened. There was no dispute he was the copyright holder or anything like that. So it really was all about how the law applied. And the law, so again, it's important that these news out outlets, what they did is they actually embedded the tweet. They weren't saving it to their own servers and uploading it. So essentially they were linking it. Um, so the summary judgment decision came out in 2008. Judge Forrest um, was the judge in that case. And she, it was a very controversial decision because, so Goldman's argument was basically, you, you guys embedding this tweet violates my exclusive right to display the photograph. So we were talking about sort of the bundle of rights, and this is display versus um, public performance. So he was saying, any other result here would have a devastating impact on sort of the photography industry. No one would seek licenses anymore. You could just do whatever you want with photographs. So no one have, would have an incentive to pay license fees. And the media outlets all relied on this longstanding precedent called the server test. And that came out of a case in the Ninth Circuit back in 2007. And that case is called Perfect Ten versus Amazon. And that involved Google and whether Google was able to sh um, show full-sized copyrighted images. And the answer that, to that case was that Google could do that as long as it was simply linking to them from other sites. So you know, linking and embedding are kind of used in the same way there. And <clears throat> so ultimately what that turned on is that Google you know, those images weren't hosted on its own servers. Um, and so that was sort of the analogy that the media outlets in the Goldman case were relying on. And does this play back into this notion of who it is that's doing the display? Who Absolutely. Is? Yeah, yeah. The volitional aspect um, was important there, too. So, you know, the media outlets, too, so sort of the, the corollary to Goldman's arguments is that we need clear guidelines for liability here. And if this server test is rejected, then there are, those clear guidelines go away. And, you know, media outlets like us could be sort of punished for content that's beyond our control. So if someone who's hosting an image, for example, changes an embedded link um, to display a different image, they could all of a sudden be liable for that. Essentially, Judge Forrest held that embedding the image constituted a display. She essentially rejected the server test. This was a decision on a motion for summary judgment and the case settled, so there was never really a final decision, but it's caused a lot of consternation because um, you know people have been relying on the server test for a long time, and now that's sort of up in the air as to what will happen. Well, it's interesting because, I mean, I think what you see, and particularly this is, this is because a lot of the Copyright Act is, is sort of dated, is you see a lot of um, the law being filled in by judicial decisions. Um, and 
I think in this area, I've noticed that, that you see as a result, a lot of inconsistent decisions, particularly depending on which circuit you're in. 